All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can make a sheep spewing flamethrower. It's Minecraft. New sheep thrower, damn it. I'm not gonna lie, by the end of this, by the end of this video, we're, we're gonna create a volcano that shoots flaming sheep into the air, like infinite amounts of sheep. I don't know how to play Minecraft. What I do know how to do is type in large numbers. Someone in the comments section had said, hey, great, you should cut and paste this into the command area. That sounds good. But instead, I think I'm going to cut and paste it 10 times. It should be perfect too, because in order for us to do appropriate sheep testing to make our volcano, we're going to have to clear this area out. I can't have any onlookers seeing what we're doing. I'm gonna get Peter called on my ass so fast. Oh God, I can already see where this is going. I mean, I don't know, they might survive. I've got to give everyone the opportunity to get out, so I'm gonna light it from this side. I feel like right now, this is the point where, you know, the F5 tornado warning should come out. You know, the, the, the big long siren <laughs> gives people the opportunity to get the hell out of here. I'm not gonna lie, this slow burn is possibly one of the most fulfilling visages I've ever seen. <laughs> God, it's like the one episode of The Family Guy where Stewie and Brian are running away from the exploding house and it just keeps exploding for like 35 scenes. How long does it take for all this DND to go away? Okay. Well, um, I mean, the village is gone. So that's good. They're not gonna be getting in the way. I'd love to be able to interview one of the animals after that. I mean, I can only imagine they'd be like, Jesus, why did this game spawn me here? All right, so every sheep volcano begins with the ability to launch sheep into the air. So let me give this a shot here. Okay, definitely works. Before I click on this sheep, I just want you to know, I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh God. I don't really know how high I made them go. Apparently pretty high. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, today's forecast calls for an ever increasing, completely inappropriate reign of sheep. I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I'd have so much fun in Minecraft. <laughs> Hold on, we've got to make this a little bit more ridiculous. Okay. Now that is excessive. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I mean, if you look at it this way, we just solved world hunger because we've invented the very first sheep geyser. See, it's like a hot spring, but instead of shooting out just warm water, it shoots out warm sheep. You know, you're a true sorcerer. When you're able to walk on the constant stream of sheep. <laughs> oh, Nicolas Cage, you wily bastard. Okay, I just doubled the sheep out. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, now we're down to two FPS. I, I changed the, the memory to like 20 and it still basically broke the game almost instantaneously because I don't even know how many sheep are being sent into the sky right now. Oh no. Oh, look at the bodies. I've got to turn this off. Okay. The... <laughs> there, there's, there's a few that are alive? How did you guys survive? All right, clearly I need to make something to clean up survivors real quick because I'm not gonna have you guys yelling in my ear while I continue to slaughter more of your people. Okay, I think I programmed this in right. About to find out. Yep. Programmed it in just fine. Oh my God, what happens if I double these? EVGA, if my graphics card ends up coming out of my computer and stabbing me in the throat, it's your fault for having such a good warranty. All right. There's the infinite rain of sheep. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the sheep thrower. It's everything I ever wanted. Yes. 
It is, it is truly, oh, it's so loud. All right, so we have the beginning of the volcano for sure. <laughs> Look at all the meat and giblets flying out the top of the volcanic fiery plume of sheep death. See now, if you want to be a real man, you want to, you want to run. Right, what the hell just happened here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, broke the game. Oh God, oh God, no. See, if you're truly hungry enough, you've got to run inside here and just grab some steaks real quick. Oh cool, we've created a D&D &D beholder. Okay. The, the storm has ended. <laughs> All that I have to do is just wait until the last pieces fall to the ground. See, everything's already cooked too. That's efficient. Nicholas Cage be like, I regret nothing. <laughs> hey Horace, you want a closer look? The source is like, hell no. Okay, so if my calculations are correct, I think I just put in the right coordinates to make a sheep flaming Gatlin gun. <laughs> oh god. Part of my sheep stream kind of derped out to the right here. Have you ever seen so much regret in one sheep? Okay, I'm pretty sure I've leveled out the stream. <laughs> oh, the stream is perfect. Now it's the appropriate Gatlin gun. <laughs> Apparently this is the landing position. So uh, I, we need like a testing area over here. I just want to put something to see how powerful this thing is. There we go. That's the perfect target practice. You never thought the sheep would fight back, did you, you villager bastards? Go get them, boys. Oh God, it's everything I hoped it would be. <laughs> Never had so many villagers died to so many flaming sheep. Ooh. Error, game crashed. An unexpected issue occurred. No, no, you don't have to worry about it, Minecraft. That, that issue was completely expected. So now that I can basically shoot an infinite number of sheep, I'm curious real quick what happens if I shoot a highly pressurized stream of sheep into another highly pressurized stream of sheep. See, then it's it's technically not me killing the sheep. It's the sheep killing each other. Minecraft, before we begin, I would like to apologize for the completely excessive amount of sheep that's about to go flying into one another at really high speeds. All right, there's our first bunch of sheep over there. Oh God, there goes the frame rate. What the hell? It's like a perfect crossfire of sheep, but there's a few that are just levitating in midair now. <laughs> I can only thank God that the distance that these sheep get over here are killing them immediately so they don't have to deal with a lifetime of being like horribly maimed. These ones are bouncing off of the corner over here. That is awful. <laughs> if you listen closely, you can hear the cursing of all the sheep right now. These sheep are mixing in with this waterfall and it's creating a true waterfall of sheep. Sorry, I know how to fix this. That should clear up everything. These sheep here are the ones that really piss the gods of Minecraft off. Their fate is to sit here in midair, burning for all eternity while really quickly doing the can-can together. You know that you are fit to rule over the sheep when you can walk across them like an escalator made of living flesh. This is amazing. It's like a moving walkway at a theme park. I feel really bad because by repeatedly just kind of messing with the command blocks, I have now created a human centipede of sheep that flies through the air. <laughs> we get a ton of distance on this one too. Come with me and let's climb the sheep stairway to heaven at 2 FPS. Oh no, I summoned a giant blockade of TNT between the two streams of sheep. You're never supposed to cross the sheep streams and now I know why. It's okay, sheep. You've been set ablaze, shot across the board, and now you've been blown up by TNT so hard that you're actually freezing in midair. This right here is a glorious way to break Minecraft. Oh God, <laughs> oh no. It's like the commando of sheep. There's just random explosions happening. Just enough to kill a sheep now and again, <laughs> right there. Well, it looks like this chain explosion is never going to end. I'm totally okay with this. I told you it would freaking happen. So thanks to my Scottish brethren, Icy Caress, my dream has come to fruition. 
It is a flaming, sheep-spewing volcano. Finally, I'll have the weapon that Minecraft always needed. Solving world hunger and frame rate issues all at once. All right, let's give it a shot. Are you sure you want to watch this save me? These sheep have no survival instinct. They're, well, actually they may just be walking into the lava because they know what's coming. They're like, it's easier this way. Look at this sheep. He's like, screw you, Gray. I choose my own destiny and my destiny is death. <laughs> you got big balls, sheep. You got big balls. All right, so with the flip of the switch, we'll go ahead and begin the festivities here. See now this, this bad volcano, <laughs> as Icy calls it, this is just it warming up. You know, you gotta, you gotta start slow. You gotta ease in the pain to the species of sheep first. Now it's time to crank things up to 11. Would you like to uh, do the honors? Turn your back on me, I'll remember that. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's infinite sheep. <laughs> and the frame rate immediately goes down to four. Man, I'll tell you, this is the one instance where you can probably smell cooked sheep, delicious mutton, straight through your computer. I legitimately never thought I would have this fun in Minecraft until I realized that you can do anything you want. Some people want to go on adventures. I want to create sheep cooking implements, all right? You know, it's just, it's priorities, man. The weather forecast for today is uh, a 35% chance of flaming sheep. We would like to demonstrate our new product to you all. It's called Sheep Be Gone. Screw this, I'm pressing all the buttons. There it is. The nighttime makes it all the more fulfilling. Oh, I appreciate that we're also apparently summoning Cthulhu. Well, we did it. We managed to summon the Lord of the Underworld with enough sheep sacrifices. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love.